This is a nice illustration out of the technical manual for the 400 and 500 series automowers. And in this video, when we say 400 and 500 series automowers, we are not including the all wheel drive models in that. This is all the circuit boards that you will find in one of those mowers. The 300 series has most of these same boards in them. Uh, the boards might be just slightly smaller or have a little bit different shape to them depending on which one it is. But at any rate, these are the circuit boards you're most likely to find in your auto mower. And <clears throat> we'll run through here and tell you what each one is, but we're mainly going to focus on number one and number two here. Number one, of course, the big one of them all is the motherboard. Number two is your HMI board. Number three is your auto mower connect board or GPS board, depending on what model mower you have. Four is the front loop sensor. Number five, that is one of the lift sensors. Number six is the collision sensor. Seven is your cutting height sensor board. And number eight is the ultrasonic sensor board, which you only find in 450X, 450XH, and uh, I guess now in the new all-wheel drive models, they will have that, and in the 500 series of mowers. So that's all the boards there. Um, but again, like I said, we're just going to focus on number one and number two here, the motherboard and the HMI board, because these are the two most important boards, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on between them that you might not realize. So let's start with the main board or the motherboard. Now, in all of the 300 series, 400, and 500 series mowers, and when we say that, we're not including the all-wheel drive models, you will find the motherboard at the back of the mower. You can see the motherboard here in this picture we have, and if you've never had your mower split apart and you don't know what's in there, the easiest way to tell where that main board is at, just for reference, is if you flip the mower over, you will see a cap there that you can take out, and inside that cap is a port to plug a cable into. This is where we plug in the diagnostic cable to connect the mower to the AutoCheck 3 program. That port is on the bottom of the motherboard. So right there, right above that, is your main board. The main board is, as the name says, the main part of this mower. This is the part that receives all the information from all the sensors and decides what the mower should do, shouldn't do, whether it's got a problem, whether it doesn't have a problem, things like that. The most important thing that the main board does is it carries the serial number for the mower. And we'll get into why that's so important later on here. This is a main board out of a 400 series auto mower. This one came out of a 450X. Again, this is the same main board used in all the 400 series and 500 series auto mowers. And anytime we say that in this video, we are not referring to the all wheel drive models. The two wheel drive, rear wheel drive, we should say, models of auto mowers. Whether it's high cut or low cut, this is the main board that's in it. When you order one of these, this is what you will get in the box. You put it into the mower, and then it needs to be connected to the AutoCheck program and have the software uploaded into it. The software program stored in the main board is, of course, the main software. The HMI program is stored in the HMI board. Then there is a subsystem software program as well. All of these programs, all of this software has to work together. Now the software that is uploaded into this main board is going to set the tone right off the bat for what model mower this will be and what this mower is going to be capable of doing. We're going to explain all that to you here in just a little bit to make this make more sense. So now back to the actual physical main board itself. Not only does it have all these ports here where it receives all the information from all the sensors on the mower and sends the power out to the wheel motors and the cutting motor and all that stuff. But this actual circuit board here has sensors built into it as well. The tilt sensor is part of this main circuit board. And in the corners, you can see these black boxes over here. These are actually your rear loop sensors. They are built right into the circuit board as well. At the top of the main board, this big black clip here is where the ribbon cable connects the main board to the HMI board, which is in the upper half of the chassis of the automower. 
the sensors in the upper chassis send all their signals through the HMI board, and then from the HMI board, it goes through the ribbon cable down to the main board. As I just said, the HMI board is in the upper chassis of the automower and connects to the main board with a large ribbon cable. So here's the upper chassis. We have it off the mower and we flipped it over and you can just barely see, you know, some of the HMI board right in there. Here's a better view of an HMI board that is out of the mower and this is the back side of it here. You can see this is where the large ribbon cable connects to go down to the main board and you have your other ports here um, that connect to the sensors in the upper chassis. So what if you've never had your automower apart? Is there a way to tell where the HMI board is at without tearing the mower apart? Yeah, very easy because your display screen is actually part of the HMI board. And this is what the front part of the HMI board looks like. So what does HMI stand for? HMI stands for Human Machine Interface. That's what you got here. The HMI board gathers all the information that you enter into your automower through the keypad. Now, on a 500 series, it doesn't have a keypad. The HMI board is still in there. It still stores information. Yeah, I know. There's no human interface as far as a keypad, but you still are entering information in there through the Bluetooth, through the Automower Connect. That all goes through this board right here. Now the HMI board contains its own software and anytime it's replaced, just like a main board, you have to plug it in, a dealer has to plug it in I should say, to the auto check program and update the software for the HMI program. And just like the main board, the HMI board is the same part used in the 400 series and 500 series automowers. All right, now we're going to get into the good stuff. Whenever you replace an HMI board or a main board, you'll get an error like this. And it's telling you that something has to be done to tell the mower that you have this new board in there and associate that board with whatever other boards are in there. So if you replace a main board, you have to program it to match up with the HMI board that's in there. If you replace the HMI board, you have to program it to match the motherboard that's in there so that it knows what mower it's in and what it can and can't do. This can only be done by an authorized dealer or somebody from Husqvarna who has access to the auto check program. And now I'm gonna to start to explain why this is all so important. All right, so you remember back when we were first talking about the motherboard or the main board, I told you that this main board right here is used in the 400 and 500 series automowers, right? Same part number if you go look it up. It's the same part number in the 400 and 500 series automowers. How does it know what model it's in? Is it important that it knows that? Yes, it is. What determines whether this main board is going to function for a 450X, a 430X, a 430XH, um, you know, a 500 series mower is determined by the serial number. When you put one of these in there, you have to enter the serial number for the mower into this board. And that's going to tell the mower what it can and can't do. Now, this is the same thing for the HMI board as well. It's the same part for all the 400 series and 500 series automowers. And once it is entered into the mower, the main board tells it what it's allowed to do, what it's not allowed to do, what model mower it's in, and how to function. So once you put the serial number into the mower, that's what identifies the mower as far as the main board and what model mower it is. The main board then tells the HMI board what model mower it is. So you follow me here? So once you put that serial number into a main board and you tell that mower that it is a 430X or a 450X, that's it. That main board can only be used in that model of mower. Even though it's the same main board as in all those other mowers, once you enter the serial number in it and it is told what model it is, that is the model it is for life of that main board. Same way with the HMI board. Once the main board tells the HMI board what mower it is in, that HMI board 
can only be used in that model mower from there on out. So what is the big significance to this? Well, let's start with one of the age-old questions. Are you one of those people that has a 430X automower and you're wondering how to put a second battery in it or why that second battery does not work with your automower and you keep getting this error message every time you would try it? And you're wondering why does that error message come up when you have this motherboard, which is the same as in the 450X, and it has that second port right there to plug that second battery in. Why won't it work? Well, because as soon as you enter that serial number 4A430X into this main board, it tells that mower it is a 430X and can only ever operate as a 430X should. That means it knows it is only allowed to have one battery. Now, are you one of those people that try to take a motherboard out of a 450X and put it into your 430X and think that would solve it and you'd be able to use that second battery? If you did, you probably still had issues, right? Right. Because now you are taking a board that is programmed to work for a 450X and you're connecting it to an HMI board that thinks it is in a 430X because it is in a 430X. So that HMI board knows that it is only allowed to do what a 430X should do, and it's communicating it back to the main board and saying, hey, I don't know where you came from, but we're a 430X, you know, you've got to act that way. And that's where you get these error messages because your HMI board and the programming in it is not on the same page as the programming in your main board to put it as simple as possible. So if you were following along there, the way to get a second battery to work in your 430X properly would cost you a new motherboard, a new HMI board, and you'd have to have access to a 450X serial number, and you would have to have access to the auto check program to tell all this stuff to work together. That is going to cost you hundreds of dollars, plus the cost of the second battery itself to add in there, and just nowhere near worth it for what you would gain. Anybody that was wondering, there's your answer about that second battery. But there's a little bit more to this whole serial number thing, the HMI board, and the motherboard. Because there's another feature now that they've been adding to the HMI boards that the serial number dictates whether or not this feature works. If you've looked up a new HMI board recently, when I say recently, within the past, eh, nine to ten months, you might have noticed that in the description there, it has Bluetooth at the end of it. Now the reason for this is, as you know, the 500 series automowers use the Bluetooth feature to connect to them, and then once you have them set up, you can use Automower Connect. So because this is the same HMI board between the 400 series and 500 series of automowers, They've just started making them all with Bluetooth. Now, what I understand is the main purpose for this was to be able to connect through Bluetooth to do the updates um, to the software and things like that. But, as we said, with the second battery in the 430X, the serial number dictates whether this Bluetooth feature will work in that automo or not. If it's a 500 series, it's going to know that because of the serial number, and it's going to allow the Bluetooth connectivity to work. Um, if it's a 400 series, like a 430X, 450XH, it's going to know that by the serial number, and you're not going to be able to use this automower connected home Bluetooth feature, at least not at this moment. Now, I know there were quite a few people that wondered, hey, uh, having automower connect issues, isn't there any way I can use Bluetooth to connect to my mower? like they do in the 115H or the 310 or the 315 or the 500 series of automowers? Nope, because your serial number is saying that feature is not available to your mower at this moment. So there's your answer to that question. Uh, again, like I said, uh, maybe in the future that'll be available, but as of right now, that is not a feature that they're using on the 400 series of mowers. All right, let's go back and make sure we didn't lose anybody along the way. This is the same board for all the 400 and 500 series mowers, but the serial number is what deciphers what model mower it is. Once the serial number is put in here, and this board is programmed for that specific model mower, 
It cannot be changed. Even though it is the same board used in all those models of mowers, once it has the serial number of a 430X, it could only be used in a 430X. Once it has a serial number for a 450X, it can only be used in a 450X. Got it? Okay. So the serial number tells this board what it's going to be. Then this board tells the HMI board, hey, this is what we are. The HMI board is the same HMI board in all the 400 and 500 series auto mowers. But because the motherboard is saying, hey, HMI board, we're a 450X, then this HMI board can only be used in a 450X mower. It can't be then used in a 430X or a 500 series mower because once it is programmed, that is it. Now the HMI board has its own programming, just like the main board has its own programming. What happens is, if you have to replace the main board in the mower, when that new main board is put in, this main board or this HMI board says, hey, main board, we're a 430X. You can't be a 450X main board. So if you try to take a main board out of a mower model that isn't the same model as the mower you're putting it in that has already been programmed, it's not going to work because even though they both have different programming, the HMI board and the main board, they are set up to work together for the same specific model mower they are in. Following me? So, these two boards have to work together all the time. The one is always telling or reminding the other, hey, this is the model mower we are. Stick with it, pal. So, that's the basic easiest way to answer how you can have the same part being used in multiple mowers, but the mowers are capable of doing different things and having different features. So this is why you can't get that second battery to work in your 430X or 430XH auto mower. And this is why auto mower connected home currently does not work on the 400 series of auto mowers. And the biggest thing to take away from this is even though they are the same part number for all these models of mowers, once they are programmed, once that serial number is entered, they are no longer the same part anymore. Hopefully this video was able to answer a few questions for you or maybe just clear up some stuff that you weren't asking yet, but we're probably going to end up asking later on down the road. So if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Always keep checking back to our channel because we're always putting out new material. Thanks for watching and we'll be talking to you soon.